Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the set 75954 Hogwarts Great Hall which contains 878 pieces and 10 minifigures and did cost, well, cost £90 and £100 dollars and that generally goes for euros as well and this was released in 2018 but this does connect in the hogwarts minifigure scaled castle that they've kind of got going on for the last few years with the whomping willow then the clock tower from last year and now the astronomy tower so without for any more wasting time let's jump straight into the review and here we have the main trio being hermione granger harry potter and ronald or weasley aka ron for short and let's just take a look at the minifigure so as you can see they have the same body printing all three of them across you can see it's just the classic gryffindor jumper which is pretty cool to see that they've just kept it generic they've not changed it up too much so then it is good you can kind of build your own army and taking off those hair pieces which harry you see has a new one as you can see all their prints, they are literally just the same minifigure, apart from the head is different. Then there's Ron, Harry and Hermione's. These are basically used for the first and second year, these faces, which then they do a new one for. I believe it's three and four, and then I think it's like four, and then it's like five and six, seven, and seven part two, kind of. I think that's like the pattern they're aiming to go for. And as you can see, Ron's face, Harry's and Hermione's, so they're all scared there. And yeah, I think these are great minifigures, and the wand piece... I've never really shown this before. As you can see, it looks really cool, the wand piece. I think it is a great mould. And yeah, that is those minifigures. And here we have Draco Malfoy being the Slytherin representative. Then Susan Bones being the Hufflepuff representative. And as you can see, their bodies are basically like the Gryffindor ones with just the colour switch and the crease lines moved. There is Draco's face. And that is Susan Bone's face, which originally um, I may have or may not have thought that was Ginny. Oops, my bad. Then there's Draco and Susan. You can see their uniforms and the one piece. So in this set, I believe you get it in three colours. You get the light brown, the dark brown. No, you get four. Light brown, dark brown, the black and the dark nougat, which is really cool to see. And technically you get five because you get Hagrid's umbrella one. There you can see her alternative face and Draco's, which fits the character really well. So those are those minifigures. And here is Rubius Hagrid, who is kind of in the scowl or in between a big fig and an ordinary minifigure. As you can see, he looks so awesome. He has this new lantern piece, which... Yeah, it squeaks so much. I remember when I first moved these hands, they were so hard to move at first. They were, I don't know, it's like such a tight fit, but it's such a good mould. And as you can see, there is his body printing, which, wow, can I just say that looks amazing. Like, just a level of detail. He's got his, like, shirt on. You can see his, like, his um, over jacket <laughs> and his big jacket. It's amazing. The sculpting is so good on this, as you can see. He has these side pockets. There is his back printing. Then he has those again. No back head detailing, but then there is his face there, which looks so good. And that new hair piece, which, yeah, looks amazing. And there is his wand, which looks great. And yeah, the lantern. So overall, I just think this is an amazing minifigure. Just looking at the detail, it's great. Then these arms are new Technic arms. So yeah, that is really awesome. And here we have Professor Albus Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall, which I believe her name is Mini Miniva. I apologize if I got that wrong. I have watched only watched it recently, but again, but um yeah, I don't really know. I don't remember them saying her first name, but here you can see her robe detailing, which looks amazing. I apologize the camera keeps refracting the light again. Removing her hat, you can see her face print a lot or a bit better if the camera would focus in, which it clearly doesn't. We'll give it some time. There is Professor Dumbledore. You can see the robe detailing on him is amazing. And I believe, is that a new mold, uh, molded beard? I am not too sure about that. I will... Um, That is... No, that... No, sorry. That is the Dumbledore beard, please, I believe. I don't mean that. I mean Gandalf. And yeah, here are these minifigures. You can see all the robe detailing. And Dumbledore's face here looks great. I find it really funny without the um, beard. And there is McGonagall. There we go. So you can see all their robe detailings. I think they look great. And looking at the back, and that is a new hair piece. It's moulded for Dumbledore. You can see McGonagall doesn't look too impressed. And you can see all the circular robe detailing. Kind of remind me of leaves. Then there is Dumbledore's. I do like his little hood that he does wear. 
And it would be really cool to get that if they actually did, but I don't think we will. But there is his other face, which I think it's so good that they give us two different faces of him in the sense of, like, they don't just give it, like, the same happy and angry. They give one with his glasses, which is, like, really cool. And then they just give you the the alternative without glasses, which I just think works so well. So that's really awesome. And here we have Professor Quill and Nearly Headless Nick, which I think these are great minifigures. As you can see, near, Nearly Headless Nick has lots of detailing that is all silver, but with like the shine, it is coming out blue and there is his face printing. And same with Quill. As you can see, he has more plain detailing, but it fits him perfectly. And with that awkwardly worried expression, so that is he nearly Headless Snick. I better look at him. But if we turn these minifigures around, we then re reveal he who shall not be named, Lord Voldemort. Then here is Quill. And as you can see, he also has detailing on the back that is going up blue. But yeah, I think this is great. The way that they've done the patch of the face darker is so good because it, it just shows how creepy and just how it works. And for once... You actually covers like the head completely, which in a way it didn't really matter if it did or didn't because Voldemort's face kind of, well, no, I guess it weren't, no, it weren't on show, was it? No, but yeah, those are those minifigures, which I have to admit, they are great. Like the amount of minifigures you get in this set are brilliant. Alongside them, you get these other characters. It's just so good to see that they put even extra figures. I think well, they, when this set was revealed, I remember thinking, oh, awesome, not going to get it. But then like, I just started seeing videos about it and stuff, and it was like, oh, I know I'm going to regret this if I don't. And yeah, it's an amazing set. And that was it for the minifigures, but as you can see, we have the Basilisk, which people are saying for the 20th anniversary, will they go back and do what Star Wars did, remaking some of the beloved older sets? And, like, the first thing that I've, I thought, and I've seen so many people stating, is that it's got to be the Chamber of Secrets. Like, if Lego don't do it, they're missing out. So many people want it. Like, the Burrow's done amazing, which was a really wanted set. Diagon Alley, if it comes out, will be amazing. But the Chamber of Secrets, it's good gonna do phenomenal like they, all they gotta do is just make the build better they don't need to change it if they keep the same structure the same way like they did with star wars but just make it better standards like update all the minifigures which i know we got a tom riddle but his hair um i think his hair was more like i don't think it was as flat so that could potentially work or they could well i think there's lots of ways that they could make it good and then it could have lockhart Ginny, harry Ron and stuff like that like I think it will be amazing and yeah so as you can see the basilisk he looks all right but yeah it is like I didn't even think this was the basilisk just looking at it it's not that great is it no not particularly that's why I think just everyone kind of hopes to get the Chamber of Secrets. And yeah, that's really it for the basilisk. And here we have the sorting hat, we have scabbers and we have faults which look really cool. Here you can see the sorting hat, which looks really cool. Yeah, I, have, I don't really know what else to say about it. You can see what it looks like, and it is great. That's what it looks like on the back. Yeah, it's a great piece. I love the sculpting, and you do get another one in the, I think it was like the Build Your Own Adventures book, which I will take a look at at some point. And yeah, you've seen Harry in there, Scabbers, which funnily enough, it doesn't have the little fur piece, like in the CMF, which again, I will show that, that to review that at some point. But yeah, you don't actually get to see his own little fur piece, which is really funny the way they've done that. Like, I don't see why, but then again... Make it exclusive, keep it like that. And yeah, and there is Forks again, which, yeah, it's a great build, but like the mold, oh, I can't wait for the mold. And that's what gives me hope for the Basilisk. Like we're getting a new molded version in the CMF, which I can't wait for. It's going to be amazing. I'll do a video when the photos officially drop, even though before we got official photos of 19, we technically got official photos or one of them of the photo of like the actual bag as well. Yeah, it looked amazing, but yeah, that is Falks, and I think that is great. And this is a little stand. You get two of them that come inside the set. They go for um, well, you get one for the sorting hat, and then you get one for the other. And yeah, that is that. And here is the mirror of Ari said. I believe that is how you pronounce it. I've just watched a clip, and that is what Albus Dumbledore said. And yeah, this is great. You can see these column. With the stickers, you can see the mirror with James, Lily, and Harry Potter, the Potters. Then that's weird that they're like the only um, figure version we've got of them, sort of, because, well, I think mm, maybe we will get them, because I've just realised all the other ones are actually included, like, exactly. Hmm, maybe that's a hint. As you can see, we have Ari said, 
we then have the little parts at the top and yeah i think this is a great build it definitely is unique there you can see albus dumbledore which i think it just looks so good and yeah um socks you know uh, he might have some holes you know you don't want to get wet soggy feet it's horrible so that's maybe why he's got that and yeah i think that looks great and here you can see ron who has won the quidditch cup and i believe isn't this from the goblet of fire foreshadowing when he actually joins the team which is really nice to see that forward thinking and yeah i think that looks great and switching around you can see professor quill here and yeah i think this just looks such a great build especially with the alternative stickers and yeah that is an amazing build as you can see here are the window details which look amazing as you can see there's rockery and plants and wow can i just say this looks amazing we have the masonry brick and then we have the dark tan and the time parts which look amazing then you can see the ceiling which you guessed it looks amazing the pillars which i'll show you later look i guess again amazing and wow what can i say it looks amazing this kind of reminds me of the greenhouse from the new set, as you can see. It looks really cool from this angle as well. It's like they've tried to get as many angles as they can to make it perfect. That black part, I am, hmm, looks really out of place there. I'm sure they could have potentially done something there. But yeah, that is that. Then there's this roof piece here, which looks really cool on those hinges. You've got these little statues and moving around, you can see all these like rocks and greenery and here is the little boat dock which i will show you the boat and i nearly forgot about the boat and there's some water to like just give you the idea of where where it is kind of which is cool and you can see here is the little area and i apologize if the doors are going a bit fuzzy and yeah that is a walkway which looks really cool as you can see it goes out into there which is really cool you can either straighten them out we can open them up and say i believe that it's meant to be a copy of the you know the magical moving staircase which is really cool and there's that little statue and there's a statue on that side which looks great and there is that sticker print which i think that looks great they're a bit of a pain to put on some of them but that one i believe was fine and oops i'm knocking that off and there is that which i think that looks absolutely amazing and if we quickly look up a bit higher you can see that this is a stickered element which is really cool and then here is some more rockery and detailing here as we go up and can i just say this new piece is amazing and that literally just covers that hole which i gotta admit i, I thought that's quite a smart and funny way of doing it and and here is the first lot of stickers on the higher area these were the ones that were a bit of a pain to put on as you can see they're kind of small and just the way they go around the curved pieces are uh, sort of can be hard it's just trying to get it all lined up and that is what that looks like then here you can see the roof which looks really cool and I, can i just say it is such a tall set as you can see it goes all the way up to here which is mentally insane it doesn't even fit on a shelf which is why it, i have a display for this which i will show some point in a later video and there is that so i think that looks awesome and there is another shot of down there which i find it's really i don't know it looks like there's a lot of like just leveling and stuff which looks really good and here we have to have the great hall itself and i apologize if it's a bit blurry for some reason when i try and take photos or anything on the inside it just get messed up i think it may be to do with the amount of light that's coming in and i don't know all of the all of just everything i guess this way it's all been laid out and yeah you can see it has four tables which look really neat you can see it has some food and that is the one i believe for draco so he can fit there it's a bit annoying the way the figures work because there's not exactly the most space that they can fit in if you raise their hand but then they can't really sit on the bench so then it does defeat the object but then if you wanted an adult minifigure or the later sets they can fit which i have only just realized that and yeah that is amazing there you can see the ice cream down there that is also great and there is a little table at the front here table at the back and i think that does work pretty cool it's not personally no it's no it's not the best i don't think personally they could have done it a little bit better it's amazing but i just think the spacing is not the greatest and there's the fireplace and there is the flag for slivering which looks really cool and if you flip it around we have raven's claw on there and we have a gryffindor then we have Hufflepuff here, which I think that looks great the way that works. But I obviously, well, I just prefer to have these. Maybe not obviously, but they are my favourite too. I would say I'm a Gryffindor, maybe, if that was anything you wanted to know. And there is the roof from up there. I generally put um, nearly Headless Nick 
um, Nicholas. I generally stand him up here because that looks pretty cool in my opinion. And yeah, those are the candles which, hmm, I don't know. It's amazing, but I think they could have done it. There's a few, like, some maybe trans clear parts I think would have been better. But that is how it is. Then here we have the broom and the other broom. I'm not sure if it's meant to be Quidditch match brooms or like a magic broomstick or it's just meant to be for um the uh for the caretaker to queen and I've just forgot his name, that is not helpful. There you can see the frog. And if we put all those like that, you can see that, which looks really cool, and there is the frog. So the idea is is you can enter in here. There's another broom for the caretaker, and that's where it connects to another set. My apologies that I'm not sure if that should or shouldn't be there, but I do connect them, but don't worry about that. I'm, I sh I think it does come with it, yeah, I believe so. And there are these stairs unraveling, which look really nice. I've always loved this stair piece. I've always thought it's amazing. And there's another angle of the door. And then moving up, you can see here is the uh, potions class, I want to say. You can see the red crystal, the little, what do you call that, little... Uh, cauldron that's the word then there's a bigger cauldron some magic glasses and yeah i think that is a great room again apologies for the camera i don't know why it just doesn't like this set it's like when i've taken photos and stuff before it just comes out really blurry not really sure why and here you can see here is the room and my apologies here is hedwig i sort of forgot about him same print basically since the original which is cool there is the spider, and there is the chest which has lots of gems and crystals in it, which the reason I really like that inclusion is because what I've done, you get a, you get given a spare, and most of the time you do, so I used it as the sorcerer's stone in some countries, but here in England it's the philosopher's stone. I so struggle with saying that, and I've actually managed to say it without 100 takes, which is brilliant. And here is forks up here, which I think that looks great, and as you can see... There is a spot to put the mirror in, which I think looks amazing. And yeah, I just think that works really well up there. And that, I believe, is everything that the Hogwarts has to show. No, it doesn't. One more thing. I'm moving the flag out from the way. The one thing I forgot is this area. You can see this is where the teachers sit. So any of them you can put. Um, Dumbledore seat is in the middle. Or Umbridge, if you want to take it from that era. You can see the gauntlet, the cup, which I believe Ron was holding, and here are the chairs. And yeah, I think that looks great, and there's also more pinholes to connect. So overall, I think this is an amazing set. On to the outro. And here is the boat, and they all enter in, and can I just, well, the first years do. Can I just say, I have wanted this boat for so many years. This piece, I had wanted for so many years. I had seen it. I had um, played with it before as a younger. I think some other people had had it. But yeah, I just never quite managed to get one, and getting it was so special, because... I don't know why. I just always taken a fancy to this piece. It always really interested me. And yeah, I don't know. Just I don't know. It's just got such a cool mold. It fit a lot. It's got lots of shaping. You can add the oars. You can add like little thin parts of the back. And there's a little bit that I uh, put Hedwig on. But yeah, um, I just think it looks such a good mold. It's so great to finally own it. And can I just say this piece? This set had so many new pieces for me. Definitely. Like I think Quills. Um, Quills. Um, a head wrap is actually a new mold, I believe. Then you had Hermione's hair, uh, Dumbledore's hair. Then we had the sorting hat. We had the boat for me. It was just so good. Then we had Hagrid's pieces. And yeah, it was so good. So overall, guys, I think this is an amazing set. And I thank you for watching this video, guys. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. And yeah, I think this is an amazing set. And I will definitely be trying to review all of the other Harry Potter sets from 2018 onwards. I have got... It, I don't have, well from this year. No, I have none of the sets from this year, but I would hope to get the burrow maybe in the summertime. That'd be really cool, but who knows about that? But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and until the next one, bye for now.